to add a contact us page in order to do that I'm going to use the custom page so I'm going to rename this so now that I replace the custom page name I named it contact us I want to now change the icon so let me click here and I have tons and tons to choose from that are already part of our platform and you can always Google a new image so I'm gonna use the iPhone silhouette and let you know hey choose the phone so you can contact us so the first thing I'm gonna do is add an image at, a, at the top that will represent the barbershop so let me go ahead and add a slider and I have an image of the outside of the barbershop and here it is I'm gonna go ahead and add that image to the app the next thing I want to do is add the address to the app so when they click here they're gonna not only see an image of the shop right below it if they're gonna see the address so let me go ahead and click on address now the address to sharper image barbershop is going to be 50 West James Street now what I'm getting here is an error this page can't load Google Maps correctly the reason why we're getting this error is because there's an API key that needs to be put into the back office of effectsapps.com you would go to settings and API's in order to get the key the key actually lives on effects.com so first let's go to effects.com and get the link I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm going to type in efexx not apps.com but efexx.com so this is our marketing website I'm gonna scroll down to the footer down here I have a bunch of hidden links and I'm gonna go to the address map API key when I click there, it's going to take me to this page. It says the address Google Map API key. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight, copy, and paste this into effectsapps.com. So now that I have the key, I'm going to go to settings and then APIs. Once I'm here, I'm looking for the Google Maps settings. Google Maps JavaScript API key. I'm going to simply paste that API key that I got from effects.com and I'm going to click save. Success. So now that that is there, I'm going to go back to editor and then I'm going to click on features. And that's going to take me back to the feature section of my app. Go back to our contact us page. And you see that our address is here so this time when I add the address I should get this powered by Google and that's because the API key is working so once it does that I'm gonna go ahead and click it and you'll know that it's working because you'll get the latitude and the longitude earlier we didn't get that because there was an error but now we are getting that it's important to check off the display address and display location button now I'm going to label it, name it Sharper Image Barber Shop, and then I'm going to click Save. So this is what I end up with. I end up with an image of the barber shop and the address right below. So right below that, I want to go ahead and add the phone number to the shop. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the phone number in there. Then I'm going to hit save. So what we've ended up with is our book appointment button where you can book an appointment with your barber or see their Instagram and then a contact us page. And there you go. We're going to stop by hitting save and move on to the next feature.